Say so long to the month of May. Now it's time to look ahead to June, which is loaded with market moving events, like, of course, Friday's jobs report. Joining us now, Eddie Perkin, he's chief equity investment officer at Eaton Vance, big money guy here. Uh, let's just look at the market action at the moment. The NASDAQ has turned positive. We've chopped our, sorry, what, Brad? Five wins in a row for the Dow Jones Industrials, but for, for five monthly wins. Please, okay. <laughs> and, and what do we see here? We've chopped our losses in half in the last hour for the yeah. Dow, which is now down just 69 points. What does this say about investor sentiment? I think investor sentiment is very negative, and that tends to be a bullish indicator for markets because uh, markets climb a wall of worry, and that's what we're seeing is it, it doesn't take much to get markets moving back in a positive direction. Well, let's just put away the volatility for a minute, and, and you're picking value stocks because you say that's going to save us from any kind of volatility in the future. How do you pick a value stock? Everybody has different ways of doing yeah, it. In this market, it's more difficult because uh, we've had a strong rally. The deep cyclicals have run a lot. Yield stocks, which are traditionally thought of as value stocks aren't really cheap anymore so you really have to be more nuanced I look for free cash flow in the tech sector I look for price to book multiples in the banking sector I look for net asset values in the REIT sector so you really have to pick your valuation metric for the uh, for the sector you're investing in you don't want to overpay ever that's what Buffett always says that's correct yeah. Do you have a level of price to earnings ratio like nine looks cheap six looks cheap but does 12 look cheap right uh, certainly uh, anything in the low double digits tends to look cheap uh, if you go below t 10 times though what the market is telling you is that the market doesn't believe that's a sustainable level of earnings. So you've got to look out beyond the next 12 months if you're going to pay for uh, multiples uh, of that level. Eddie, how much do you fret? or not at all about what the Fed is going to do next. I don't worry too much about the Fed. I, I remember uh, Buffett once saying that uh, Greenspan, back when Greenspan was the chairman, could whisper in my ear what his intentions were. It wouldn't change a thing I do. At Eaton Vance, we're investing for the long term, whether the Fed moves in June or July. The key point is, is the economy on track to withstand higher interest rates? We hope so. Well, is it? I mean, you've, you're picking Teva Pharmaceuticals. They're, they're big in generics. You like Kellogg. Yep. I love that red berries cereal. <laughs> well, people are increasingly snacking throughout the day. So cereal, which we think of as a breakfast food, people are snacking on bars and cereals throughout the day. Uh, it's a company that has a significant margin improvement potential. They have a 15% operating margin now. We think that can go to 18 to 20 over the next few years. Uh, and Teva is a very cheap stock. Uh, it's been really beaten up this year, and we think it's uh, offering tremendous value. Great to see you. You Good know, we're going to pick how you pick value stocks. We're going to put that up on our Facebook.com slash Liz Clayman page. People love of that news you can use. So thanks. It's great You've to see you. For that. Eddie Perkin of Eaton Vance, great to see you. And here we go. Say goodbye to May, whether you sold or bought. The Dow is down 81 points, but we make it five months in a row of wins for the Dow Jones Industrials. And by the way, the NASDAQ holds on to a five session win streak.